Yo, what's going on guys, Zenera Tech here, and today I'm going to be showing you the very basics of using keyframes with Adobe After Effects. So the example that I'm going to be showing you is that right now I have three circles right in front of me, and they all start at the same time, and they arrive at the same place at the same time, but at different rates. So one goes faster, one goes slower, but they all reach the end at the same time. So I'm going to be using this example to basically be explaining keyframes. So I'm going to delete all the keyframes that I have right now. So just delete delete and delete and I'm going to reset the position. I believe it was 940 or something. All right. So as you can see, the, they're all right now on this um, in the exact same place. All right. So what you're going to want to do is press on this uh, stopwatch icon and basically that sets the keyframe. So right now it won't do anything because there's only one one keyframe. There's only one input pretty much. So for example, if I go to about um, a frame and a half or a second and a half, and play around with the position. It doesn't have to be only the position, but for this example, I'm doing the position. It can be scale, it can be rotation, it can be everything. So I'm just gonna, whoops. So I'm just gonna move it to about 2,300. And that's gonna take, well, actually let's make about 2,400. And that's gonna bring it all the way over there. So I'm gonna do the same thing on all of them. So as you can see, if you already have a keyframe put in, if you change anything in the settings, it's gonna automatically put another keyframe so that you don't have to do it all over again if you forget and stuff like that. So yeah, 2400, I'm gonna get this one to 2400 as well. So right now, if we play it, as you can see, they, they all go in the same rate. They start from the same place and end in the same place. But now I'm gonna select these, uh, these keyframes. I'm gonna right click on them, keyframe assistant, and I'm gonna put easy ease. Whenever you want to change anything, it's really good to put easy ease because it really gives you the, 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 the smooth motion. So for example, I'm going to play it right now. So as you can see, this first one goes in uh, pretty slow and then picks up some pace. And then in the middle here, it goes to maximum speed and then it slows down until it reaches the end. But it still reaches in the same time, like they all still stop in the exact same moment. So I'm just going to put easy ease on all of them right now. So as you can see, if I play them all, they're all still going to go in the same uh, in the same pace. But right now I'm going to do something different. I'm going to select these uh, these keyframes, then go to the graph editor. So when I press on the graph editor icon right here, it's going to bring me this. If your graph editor looks like this, you just want to click on the graph and then select edit speed graph instead of uh, value graph. So make sure edit speed graph is the one that you're on. And this is what's going to bring you. So easy ease basically makes it have this arc right here. So slows, uh, first it's slow, picks up some pace, goes to maximum speed over here, and then slows down. So I'm going to press on this uh, keyframe right here, and it's going to bring out these sticks. So these sticks are basically your controls. So you can cr control them if you do it like this. It's going to start really fast and then slow down. If you do it like this, it's going to go really slow and then go really fast. The influence um, percentage right here is basically how much you're adding. So uh, if I leave it, it has an it already has an influence of about 35%. So I'm going to pull this until it's about 65. So it's going to go in really slow and then pick up the pace and then slow down. All right. So if you play right now. As you can see, they're all still ending up, ending up in the same place, same time, but this one is going at a different pace. So let me change this one. And I'm going to make it do the opposite thing. I'm going to I'm gonna make it go really fast. Actually, not that fast. Um, so like this is going to go really fast and then slow down as soon as the others pick up. So we're going to do this. As you can see, it slows down, but it stops when the others stop. So they all stop at the same time. And I'm going to press on this. And I'm just going to put this on medium. So I'm going to put the influence here at about 50% and over here at about 50%. So as you can see, they all kind of follow each other, but they all still end up at the same time at the same place. But yeah, guys, that was it for this video. So this was a, this was kind of a short video, very simple, but I hope this helped you and I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video. Peace.